Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I am going to explain how to prepare a plan drawing in architectural units that is using feet and inches. So I am going to prepare a plan like this. So it will be having a kitchen over here as well as a hall and a dining room and with two bedrooms attached with toilet. I am going to consider external wall thickness as 8 inches and internal wall thickness as 4 inches. Okay, let us start. I am erasing these things. Now, first of all, we have to set the units. Type UN at the command prompt and press enter. You will get units dialog box. Go to the length units and set it to architectural and precision whatever the precision level you want. Generally, plan drawings will be prepared for 0 inches. And insertion scale units that is inches. Why? Because we are going to use inches as our insertion units. So length units, architectural, precision to the required level and insertion scale units as inches and say OK. Now I am taking line command, type L at command prompt and press enter, pick the first point. I would like to take 26 feet as the width of the building. So type 26 and single quote to represent feet. So when you are working with feet and inches, you have to enter single quote as feet symbol and press enter. A line with 26 feet will be drawn. Now I am going to draw the building length with 43 feet 6 inches. So type 43 single quote to represent 43 feet and to enter inches simply type the number say 6. You can also enter double quotes to represent the inches but it is not necessary. Simply leave it as it is and press enter. Now it is asking for the next point press enter to finish. Now if you check the distance between two points here using some dist command and checking from here to here you can see it is of 26 units width and 43 feet 6 inches length. Now I am going to put 6 feet for staircase in the front of the building. So I am taking offset command and entering 6 feet for staircase and I am copying this from left to right as well as now I want to enter the thickness of the wall so we know that external wall thickness is 8 inches so take offset command offset with 8 inches that is simply type 8 and press enter which is automatically will be considered as inches if you enter single quote then only it will be considered as feet now simply use trim commands to trim like this and erase this one similarly trim on the right side also and here i am going to take landing of three feet three single quote take offset command enter three feet three single quote and offset this line to show the landing over here now again take offset command and enter 10 inches simply type 10 and press enter which will represent 10 inches and select the first line and take multiple option and simply keep clicking for 10 number of stair steps and once you finish draw a line like this which will split first flight and second flight so i am going to draw a line like this which will represent the direction of the flight So this will be the direction of the flight. Now coming to the rooms, I am going to use 10 feet for the kitchen. So take offset command and enter 10 feet and select the outer line and make offset. And then again take offset command and offset 4, un 4 inches. Again take offset command 10 feet width also for the same kitchen. And then again take offset command enter 4 inches for the wall then trim these lines which are not required using trim command so so this is how we are going to prepare a room so this will be the kitchen again from here I am going to take one more offset to provide the dining space so take offset command and enter 10 feet 10 single quote and select the outer line and enter 
pick the direction again take offset command inner walls will be 4 inches so type 4 and press enter and then extend these two lines to right side similarly I am going to put the bedroom size 12 feet 12 feet depth so type 12 feet for the next offset and make a offset again another offset with 4 inches as the inner wall and again another offset with 4 feet to provide toilets and then again another offset with 8 inches as external wall now extend this there may be 1 or 2 inches difference as I didn't calculate this properly in the beginning so make sure all the lines are properly connected and trimmed so this trimming work has to be finished first of all then I am going to split this big room into two bedrooms so I am going to take a middle line over here and I am going to make an offset with two units to the left as well as two units to the right so that they will be partitioned equally on both sides so both the bedrooms will be of equal size similarly do the necessary trims as I am doing over here so that so that the drawing looks legible once you finish then get back to front side again so here I am going to put a door over here so take a line like this I am going to use line command and going to try something that is I am leaving 9 inches on left side and press enter to finish the tracking and use perpendicular snap then offset I am going to use 36 inches that is 3 feet for door opening on the front side so this will be the door opening for hall as well as dining and here I am going to give an opening for the kitchen so for that again I am taking line command and using a tracking method pick the first point for tracking and enter 9 units to leave 9 inches gap over here and press enter to finish the tracking and use perpendicular object snap and press enter now take offset command and enter one sorry 36 inches opening that is 3 feet opening for kitchen similarly create the openings for both the bedrooms as well so here a trim is missing take a line over here just move this by 9 inches and then I'm sorry take a copy and make a copy at 36 inches that is 3 feet and use stream command to create a open over here again copy these two lines from this corner to this corner and another trim over here to give opening for the second bedroom similarly we can use the same openings for the toilets as well we can copy these two openings from here to here and just use stream command to provide the openings so here it is we have finished creating staircase as well as sit out hall kitchen dining as well as bedrooms with attached toilets now how to create window openings so I am going to create a window over here just I am drawing a line here and take a offset with 24 inches that is two feet onto the left and two feet onto the right and a line like this this is a simple way of representing windows in general plan drawings and another window I am going to put over here so I am going to draw a line like this and take similar same offset two feet onto the onto the right as well as two feet onto the left and another um, line in the mid of those two lines which will represent a window and I am going to copy this window from here there is a trim missing so if you trim it properly you can copy this window from here this midpoint to this midpoint as well and another copy from this midpoint to this midpoint and here I am going to put a ventilator over here so draw a line like this make an offset by the point I'm sorry as we are in inches uh, it would be around 6 inches uh, one to the top and one to the bottom oh yeah it is one feet 
one foot ventilator if seems a little smaller so let's increase it by six more inches on the top and six more inches on the bottom and increase it now we can simply mirror these windows onto the right side so i am using some of my custom commands for uh, drawing lines as well as uh, rotating copying and uh, some of the commands are shortcuts so you can use your own shortcuts as well so to mirror these windows from left to right take mirror command select the objects which you want to mirror like this using a window method and then once you are done just go on to the top pick the middle point and pick another point that's it simply we have got all the windows on to the right side so now we have got door openings as well as windows now we need to place the text inside the rooms so i am going to take text command and picking over here and it is asking for the height i am going to give some 12 inches as height and rotation angle as zero and i am typing like this k i t c h e n kitchen and its size 10 feet by 10 feet press enter enter to finish the text okay similarly copy this from here to here as well as here to here and erase this this will be hall and this will be dining and check the size of those two objects check the size of this dining and hall and write it down over there similarly copy this to the bedroom and just simply edit that one bedroom and its size is 12 feet by 12 feet similarly copy this to the right side and again one more copy from here to there edit this as toilet and its size is 12 feet by 4 feet and again make a copy of this toilet on to the right side so that's all we have finished creating a plan drawing in arc textural units to place the dimensions go to dim style command and select the standard click on modify go to the primary units and change unit format to arc textural and set precision level to 0 inches as well and go to text command and set text alignment to align with dimension line and coming to scale let us first of all place a dimension and check what is the scale of required dimension style click ok and say close now I am going to put a dimension linear dimension on the top first of all so it seems it's very smaller so we need to increase the dimension scale so again go to dim style and modify go to fit tab and increase the scale to 100 times and click ok as well as close now dim hor for dimension horizontal pick two points and drag like this seems it's a bit high size the scale seems a bit more size so we can decrease it go to dim style again click modify and change it to 50 times and say ok now it would be legible for the drawing so type dim hor at the command prompt and pick the first point on the top and the second point now it seems very good again take vertical dimension command pick both the points on the walls similarly place the dimension for staircase as well as the total dimension of the building so this is how we are going to create this is how we prepare a plan drawing in architectural units hope friends you understood how to prepare a plan in architectural units you can do more things you can do the layering as well and put so many dimensions so hope you understood if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session